All right, let's talk about adding and subtracting scientific notation. Now, there are a lot of values that you want to combine when you're working with scientific notation. And as you can see, there are different sorts of prefixes and symbols and names. You don't really have to memorize them. Um, although it'd be cool if you're really, you know, into that sort of thing. Um, there are the basics that we deal with. You know, you can tell from billions to billionths, and those prefixes um, should definitely be in your vocabulary somewhere, but you don't have to memorize them. But anyway, let's talk about, again, adding and subtracting using scientific notation. Let's take this example of 4.3 times 10 to the 4th plus 5.2 times 10 to the 5th. The biggest importance here is that when you are adding or subtracting with scientific notation, you have to have the si same exponent in order to combine them. So you'll notice here I have 4.3 times 10 to the 4th and 5.2 times 10 to the 5th. My exponents are in different orders. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a look at this problem. All right. So what I'm going to do is take this 10 to the 4th and change it to 10 to the 5th. Because I did that, I have to change my 4.3 to 0 0.43. You'll notice I, I gained a power of 10 over here, which means from my coefficient, I have to remove one power of 10, which pretty much consists of moving the decimal pla one place to the left. And I didn't have to do anything else with that 5.2 times 10 to the fifth. Now what we see is that both values have the same power of 10, which means now I can go ahead and combine that 0 0.43 plus 5.2, which is here in this next step. So I have 0 0.43 plus 5.2 times 10 to the fifth. My final answer then becomes 5.63 times 10 to the fifth. Now, what I could have done is instead of change this 10 to the this uh, 10 to the fourth to 10 to the fifth, I could have changed this 10 to the fifth to 10 to the fourth. Now what would have happened in that case is that I would have moved this value down. So we would get 5.2 starting out. But then if I change that to 10 to the fourth, I've decreased this by a power of 10. So I have to move this decimal over to the right to increase it by a power of 10, and I would have 52 times 10 to the fourth. When I add that then with 4.3 times 10 to the fourth, I would end up with 56.3 times 10 to the fourth. And we know our values in scientific notation, have to, our coefficient has to be between one and 10. So I would have to change this again and re decrease it by a power of 10 to get 5.63, which means I would have to increase this by a power of 10 to get 10.5. Either way, or sorry, 10 to the fifth. Either way, I would end up with the same answer. One just might involve an extra step as you go through. Let's take a look at another example. I have 5.3 times 10 to the negative third minus 1.2 times 10 to the negative third. All right, in this case, both my exponents are the same, negative third, negative third. Then I'm going to go ahead and take that next step of just combining 5.3 minus 1.2, which gets me 4.1, and then my exponent stays the same, 10 to the negative third. Nice. So as we move on, here I have a challenge problem for you. I want you to evaluate the following. I have 6.8 times 10 to the negative 9th plus 9 times 10 to the negative 2nd. All right, so first thing you're going to do is simplify and then evaluate it. Let me know what that answer is.